Hi, this is John from AnimalLoversWeb.com. This is our baby hamsters, which are now four weeks old, and it's important at this stage to recheck the sexing that we've done to make sure that the boys and the girls are separated. So, in this half of the cage, we've got the three that we think are girls, and in this part, we have the boys. Uh, so, we're just going to have one last check to be as sure as we can. Okay, so this is the first one and we're fairly sure that he's a boy and we're just going to show you how you have a look to check for the sex. So it's important to handle them gently and carefully because they don't like being flipped over on their back. Um, so if you just look at the genital area you can see the scent gland further up the abdomen and then towards the tail end the anus and the penis just in front of that and the distance between those two is important in determining the sex the distance is greater than it is in a female from the anus to the female opening okay so we are fairly sure that he is a boy Okay, and this is another of our baby hamsters who looks quite similar to the other one, but we're fairly sure this one is a girl. Um, so again, Diane is going to just flip her over till we have a look. Oh, she didn't like that much. Okay, so in contrast with the one that we've just had a look at, you can see these two openings are much closer together. Uh, with the anus towards the tail end and the female opening a bit further forward, but the distance between them is less than it was and there's no discernible scent gland so we can be fairly sure that this is a female right. okay and just another point to mention is that as these dwarf hamsters become sexually mature at six weeks and can therefore start breeding at that stage it is crucial that if you don't want to have litters of hamster babies that you get the sex determination right so just to help you try and be more sure of it, it's much easier in an adult hamster. Um, so we're going to show you in an adult to compare with what we've just shown you okay, in the Okay, so this is Sonny, our male hamster and the daddy of these babies. So we're just going to show you in Sonny how much easier it is in an adult to determine the sex. So Dan's just going to gently try and flip him over again. He doesn't like it. Okay, oops. Right, so there you can see quite clearly the three parts, the scent gland towards the head end, the penis and then the anus with quite some distance between the two. You can also see he's got testicles but they're inside. The there. testicles are internal but you can see the bulge on either side where the testicles are. Yeah. Okay, so this is Ellie, the mother of these baby hamsters. So again, to compare with Sonny that we've just looked at, we're going to have a look in a female. Okay, so again you can see two openings fairly close together towards the tail end, the anus, forward of that the female opening. And she didn't like on her back too much so she slipped back over but I think it was very different from Sunny. Here we go again, the opening's very close together and the lack of the bulge where the testicles would be in a male.